just got to have to gun away at this guy. Oh, please take out his missiles. Yes, I took out his missile. Okay, that means we're good, I think, actually. Can he shoot at us? Oh, EMP fire. That's lovely. Okay, but he, he can't actually shoot at us, so we're just going to be fighting missiles here the whole time. Which, as long as we're lucky, we should be fine. Alright. This is great. Did our missile hit him? I think our missile hit him because his shields went down a lot. Anyways, we've got our reinforcements, which is lovely. I guess we keep firing. Okay. Yes, and we took out the missile. Um, this this is looking good. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one that we destroy. All right. Fire the missiles. Fire the missiles. Next turn. Reinforcements causing more damage. All right, boys. Let's take out this pirate scum. I think this missile should do the job. Come on. Alright, the missile hit. We've got the reinforcements. One more good shot. Come on. Yes! Boom! The shields of the enemy ship collapse and the vessel explodes. For exceptional bravery, the Federation High Command awards you the Silver Star Medal. For exceptional bravery in influencing our war efforts. For every new rank or medal you receive, you may choose one new ability. Yes! Alright, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. Part of the reason I really wanted to do that was because I just... Oh, I wanted to um, to get that, that Silver Star, which you get when you fight... If I remember correctly, you get that Silver Star medal when you fight a ship that's that's dangerous. So a ship that's bigger than your ship and win. And we did that. Um, I, I used up two lives, but you know, um, that's okay. That's... Uh, that's perfectly okay. That's that's why they're there. Um, we're gonna have to pick a thing now. Can I choose any skill? No, this is very exciting. I can. So it's it's a it's a top tier down thing. As long as you have the one above it, you can choose the next ones. Um, gosh, I I don't even know. Uh, we'll make it possible to target a ship even when he's cloaked. I mean that's great. I could I'd be able to target cloaked ships with that, which is beautiful. But, um, what potentially interests me more is, is ship boarding. I really want to board ships. Um, rumors, however, is incredible. Uh, with this ability, the rumors about your deeds will spread more quickly, and you will receive 25% more fame for each destroyed enemy vessel. And I mean, I think, I think that's worth it. We're going to go for rumors, because fame is how you get promotions. Um, so, with both rewards, which increases our money and, you know, fame, we're going to be doing great. Um, promotions are good, that'll give me more skills. I can then get EMP and hopefully boarding ship. Yeah. So that's what I'm going for. Rumors! You have been rewarded. For your great efforts, the Federation High Command awards you the Keep Marching Campaign Ribbon. And here's our quote. Success and glory are in the advance. Disaster and shame lurk in the rear. From General John Pope of the U.S. You receive some experience points. The more you have, the more likely you will be to be promoted. Congratulations, you loot 30E of cargo. You can sell it for 3,270. And I get 12,445 for my completed mission. More experience points. Now, you can you can actually see the experience points under my portrait. Uh, once that gets to the top, I get another promotion, which is very exciting because I'm still an ensign, but hopefully we'll get promoted soon. Uh, especially sooner now that we have that, uh, that wonderful ability. You know, I could probably buy more equipment. Yeah, I could get better missiles or something. Um, why not? Let's uh, buy new ship equipment. Let's see what we can get at least. Ooh, what are these? Oh, price algorithms for trader abilities. Spy sensors. Ooh. Take 
down and K. Okay, so these increase my chance of taking down enemy missiles, which is sort of nice. Uh, let's see, upgrading the torpedoes. Wow, 23,000. What kind of missile is this? Uh, more ECM resistance. Impact time is 1, which is really nice. And damage is 54. Wow, that's not bad. Oh, the python looks nice. These are interesting. The arrow dummy. It's not real. But, okay. So these are fun. No, I think, um... Oh, the arrow dummy sounds really cool, actually. Because it won't... It won't hit, but it only takes one action point. Or at least it won't do a lot of damage. But it'll still do the same amount of, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get the arrow dummy. Which is the weirdest thing ever. But, okay, I've got the arrow dummy. Which means we're gonna be using our lasers to take out the enemy. Um, what's this? This is our own ECM. Anti-missile system. Look at that. I could upgrade this so I get 50%. That's not a bad idea. Or go for that in 80%, but that uses up the whole turn. Now, I don't, I don't like the whole turn use up. I think two 50% is better than 180. So we're going to get that. Defender MK2. Golden. And our cargo bay. What can we do with this? We could get a cloaking device if we don't want any cargo. But uh, that doesn't sound right. Hmm. I don't know. Do I do I need my cargo at all? I mean, I do get I get extra money from my cargo clearly because I get uh, cargo from the ship that gets destroyed. So let's see how that works. Um, do I have anything on my ship right now? No, so it's an automatic cell, it seems like. I wonder if I can somehow change that setting so that it's not an automatic cell. I guess not. Okay, well, never mind. Um, man, I don't know about the cloaking. That would be nice. And then I could keep ambushing really big ships and potentially get away with it. But, at any rate, uh, let's take out something easy. Uh, pirate star gun in the Jupiter Soul System. This is what it looks like when you're doing uh, proper, your own level ones. I think we should be fine. So we're going to start by launching the arrow missile. And the reason I wanted it, as you'll notice, is because then I get to fire twice on the same turn. Okay, it looks like he's got the uh, dodging going on as well. So... Oh, doesn't help him too much, does it? There's his missile. Nice, we took out his missile. We're gonna take a shot. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. That's a lot of damage for one hit. Wow, wow. We uh It's a little bit terrifying. I think that was his special ability, is the uh it allows his guns to do way more damage. So we're gonna dodge. Okay, engine booster is now dodging, and fire away. I like the dodging ability. Okay, he's almost done. Alright. Ah! Okay, okay, how are we going to take him out? Uh, it looks like one more shot should do it. Let's try ace. This skill requires and uses up at least two activated abilities. Okay, we have to activate some abilities. So, how does that work again? Okay, so we're gonna do that and that. Tractor beam and apparently scatter gun. We're gonna end the turn. Okay, and now we're gonna use up our two abilities to use Ace. Let's see what happens. Your hit chance is increased at the cost of two abilities. Nice! That was beautiful. The shields of the enemy ship collapse and the vessel explodes. Alright. Oh, we didn't get very much cargo. Only 702 from the cargo. But we got a lot more fame. So if we do maybe one more mission, that we'd be set. Let's repair the ship. Uh, 
Where do you go to repair a ship? Mm. <laughs> How do I repair the ship? Spaceport bar? No. Maybe I could uh, order a drink? In return for ordering a couple of drinks, the barman tells you about the secret location of a hidden pirate outpost in this system. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, but that still doesn't help me with, uh, <laughs> with my ship getting repaired. What's that? Ah, that's this. Uh, buy a new ship. Maybe this will repair my ship. Maybe not. Oh, that's nice. The Shadow Cat is actually the price that I have to pay for it is going down because the upgrades are going to be sold as well. Um, maybe visit the governor. Explore the planet. Visiting a local bar called the Red Spot, you meet a man looking very dejected. You buy him a drink and ask him what's wrong. My name is Jerox, he says. I run a synthetic trading company on, to, on IO Station. I've done for the last ten years. It's never been hugely successful, but it's made a loss for the last six months. I can't afford to keep running it like this, and I'm wondering about quitting. Jeez, uh, uh, don't give up, buddy. Don't give up. You tell him not to give up on his business, that all of Jupiter is struggling financially, and that things will turn around if he can hold on. He sinks the drink down in one go. You think so? He asks. I guess I can t call in a few favors, try a few new ideas if I'm gonna out of business. I may as well take a few risks. He also, he already seems a lot happier as he heads out of the bar. Well, that was nice of me. Um, it looks like time has repaired my ship, so maybe that's all you can do. Oh, Barbados system is under attack. Uh, Syndicate and Outer Room. So there's a lot of war going on. Yeah, and it looks like that has recovered my ship. Um, that's very interesting. Let's look at the star system. So you can see we're at war with the Coalition, if you remember that last, uh, uh, the last notification we got, and, uh, not the last one, but we got one earlier. And there's the Coalition we're at war with. And those ones, are battles are occurring, so the new Manchester system is currently embattled, which is good, because we're attacking them. There is the pirate hideout, which we should certainly take out. Let's, uh, why don't we, why don't we do that? Goodness. Syndicate is attacking the Glenshire of the Outer Rim. Everything is at war. Whoa. What? Look at this. Hideout coding. Pirate hideout in Seoul. Cost 10,000 a week. Great offer. Your very own hideout and home for 1 million because your home is your castle. Oh, you can buy a hideout. Well, that's lovely. Encourage illegal... What? Encourage illegal activities in which area? Oh my. Trade contraband. Hire pirates. Hide. Explore. Man, this is cool. Um, blackmail. Increases stock. Engage enemy forces. Increases popular. Look at this. I can't afford any of this. This seems like a later game thing, but let's uh, let's explore. I don't want to pay the toll. Entering the depths of the hideout, you are stopped by a large man with some heavy scars. I have not seen you here before, he growls. You want to come to this hideout, you pay a toll. You've never heard of such a thing, and sense this is a scam. You back away slowly from the behemoth, but realize that his friends are coming round behind you. It looks like you have just one choice, pay or fight. We're going to fight him. You fish into your pockets for a credit chip with one hand, keeping the other free to grab your laser pistol. You throw the credit chip towards the big guy, and as he scrambles to catch it, you quickly dash behind him. You have your pistol drawn and fire off a barrage of laser blasts before the pirates are able to react. Keep the change, you mutter to the prone bodies as you collect your credit chips and head back. Oh, I killed them. Wow. Got a bunch of experience, too. Well, that's not so bad. Uh, I wonder if I can attack and plunder the uh, pirate hideout. Okay, no, I can't. I need to be a lot tougher. So, with that, I suppose we're going to get another mission. Search and destroy on Jupiter again. Um... This one's on Saturn. We can do a patrol. Patrols are kind of cool. 